two, one. Welcome to the NBA Finals edition of Your Best Bets. Uh, Celtics Warriors coming up. Uh, this will be released Thursday morning. So starting tonight, um, I know it's weird to say because we're recording this Wednesday, but it all works out. Um, excited to talk about the NBA with my guys, Cullen and Colin. Cullen, haven't talked to you, uh, I guess, since one of the, uh, I don't know, IU podcasts, I believe, right? Yeah, I, I, that sounds about right. Uh, it's been a while, but I'm happy to be back on and provide some fresh hot takes for you guys. Yeah, and it's just it's good to see your your handsome mug again. It's been a while. Uh, Colin Quinlan is back. Colin, um, you know there was some controversy. We were supposed to record this last <laughs> night, and you were no show, so you got you got a reprieve here tonight. Yeah, you know we had a little difficulty getting us all together, mostly from my end, but. Uh, happy, happy to be here talking about some basketball talk about some finals action so glad glad I showed up tonight to talk about some <laughs> basketball yeah I was gonna say when you said we we had some difficulty really <laughs> it was you but uh, it was me it that's was okay me, but... so you you got a busy life these days so I, one pass is given here uh, guys before we get into the finals preview talking Celtics Warriors uh, I feel like we need to do at least a little bit on, on what we've seen in the playoffs so far um, and talk about maybe some guys that really elevated their, their games, teams that elevated their games and, and or, or vice versa, guys that really um, kind of stuck it up when it mattered and, and some teams that really let us down. Um, first of all, this playoffs has not been good. This has not been a good playoffs. I, I, there's certain years where I can, I can think about the playoffs and I'll be like, I remember that season. I remember those games this is not one of them. The conference finals was objectively uh, terrible. I really, even game seven heat uh, heat Celtics was, was not well played. Um, so I hope the finals gives us um, some redemption for what has not been a great playoffs, but Colin, what, what has stood out in your mind as far as uh, some of the main stories, storylines, as far as uh, aside from the Warriors or Celtics, this, this uh, the 2022 playoffs. Um, aside from just the kind of craziness we've seen, just the not very close games, I don't really know what's going on with that. We've seen 30, 40 point victories in the playoffs, which is very odd. I, I can't remember a time where we've seen that so consistently throughout the playoffs. So that, that's what really stuck out to me. But team wise, I think I know Cullen's going to love to hear this, but the elevation of Luca's game, I think has been nice to see kind of carrying his team uh, through the playoffs. He couldn't quite get it done last round, but um, it was nice to see him kind of elevate his game in the playoffs. We get that uh, playoff win, that series win he's been looking for. Um, and from my end, I've I really wish Ja wouldn't have gotten hurt because I would have I would have liked to see what that team could have done against against the Warriors team. So hopefully next year we get to see a healthy Ja and that Grizzlies team back in the playoffs and fighting for a fighting for a championship. That is one series where it feels like we didn't get what we deserved, which I think is a, a series that could have went seven uh, with, with a healthy John Morant that, that they were, I mean, they beat the Warriors by 50 or they were leading by 50 and then that one game, which was insane. But uh, yeah, I, I, I like that point. Uh, I, I know Colin's going to want to talk about Luca and we'll get there, but as far as the letdown, Colin, we, we were kind of talking about it last night, the Suns uh, game seven of, of the, Western semis uh, just laying a complete egg against uh, the Mavs was one of the most shocking things I've seen in the NBA in like 20 years. Yeah. So I was just soaking like the sun there. Um, yeah. You know what? I kind of wanted in the past one of CP3 to get his ring. Now I don't, he seems like a little um, twerp. I don't know how to dweeb. I don't know what you want to say. Um, <laughs> and then Booker with the, Oh, Luca special. <laughs> wink, wink. As Luca said, it's, it's easy to talk when you're up, and I'm so glad that Luca came back and, I mean, the Mavs, I should say, came back and won that series. Um, but, no, I'm not heartbroken about the Suns. And, you know, I'm also was nice to see that, you know, Jokic got um, the gentleman swept first round. That was that was good to see. Um, so, uh, other than that, you guys kind of touched on all the main storylines. Um, I'm also not a big Heat fan, so I was happy to see them bounced. Um, just Jimmy Butler – just, just, I don't like the way he looks. So it just seems like it, you know, just doesn't, I don't like his style. 
this is a few hot takes for you real quick, but that's all I got for you. <laughs> I, I, I'm really, I, I've got to the point where I don't know what style of basketball you like. Uh, <laughs> you, you do not like really good basketball players. I know that. Yeah. I was, I was going to say the guy that elevated his status in the game the most, I mean, you could argue Luca and I'd, I'd go for that, but the other guy's Butler. I mean, uh, the 2020 bubble was super impressive, but this was more impressive what he did with this team. Cause I didn't, I didn't think the heat team was that talented overall. I mean, you had, um, you know, Kyle Lowry old and out of shape. Uh, Oladipo still returning from an injury. Uh, Hero was missing pieces, you know, of, of, of the Celtics series. So I, I, I was incredibly impressed by Butler, um, I mean, he's, he's a dude that I think, uh, when, you know, he's a top 10 playoff guy right now. Um, I don't know if I would say he's a regular season guy, but I, he's one of the guys that I would trust in a, in a critical game seven or a series to really just, you know, put it all out there and put his team on his back. Uh, Colin, what'd you, what do you think of Butler? I was really impressed with him. I'm kind of like Cullen. I don't really like his game. I think he really showed out in the playoffs and you got to respect that at least. So um, I, I liked, I liked mm-hmm. watching him play. I don't, I don't, I like him as a player. I just don't like his game. I think, I don't know why, but I, there's yeah. something about him. I like him as a player though. I respect what he does. He, he really showed out this playoff. So I liked, I liked what I saw there. Speaking of him, what did you think of his uh, final shot? Do you like it or not? I did not. I thought it was trash because he missed it. I mean, if you made it, it would have been a good shot. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's not really his shot. It's not really his type of shot. Yeah, it's not his type of shot. It's like that's a curry he's been shot. Hitting the, a Durant he's been shot. hitting him in the playoffs, though. Yeah. He, got no, he had an open look. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. I, mean, you're I personally right. like it. I would have given it to Aladipo just because he's a Hoosier. but um, <laughs> Yeah, and trusted his, uh, his shooting, which he was one for seven and from three in game seven. God, that was cr- cringeworthy to watch him shoot the ball right now. But, that's uh, fair. That's fair. Um, all right, who, who, who else um, during the playoffs? Uh, I, I, you know, the Sixers are just – they're constantly – every year there's some sort of drama or story with them. Um, it's unfortunate Embiid was, was banged up. Uh, during their series, I thought they could have made a run at the Heat. Um, I, you know, it's just, it just, it really hasn't, it's been so unmemorable. I had a hard time remembering some of the first round series, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, there just wasn't that much that stood out. I think, I think the best series so far was Buck Celtics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I, I mean, I feel sad for my boy Giannis, but uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. But, yeah, Sixers are trash. I like Embiid, his voice, but Harding should just retire and just go to the strip club like he always does. So, I mean, what are we doing? This guy's a shell of himself. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, it's – he's – and he, he does this every year in the playoffs, no matter what team he plays for, and it's critical moments and, you know, whole games or halves of games where he's just a complete no-show, and that, that was the case again. Um, uh, I was going to talk about Luca next – so, and Colin and I were talking about it last night, Colin, that he clearly has reached this level of superstardom where he can win games, you know, I don't want to say single-handedly, but solely because of his play. However, he needs more help. Uh, that team needs more help for sure. Um, I was echoing the sentiments of, of Jalen Brunson a couple of weeks ago to both you guys and uh, Cullen just lambasted me for it. <laughs> um, I still think he's, I didn't say it was necessarily deserved, but I think he's, and I don't know his contract status. I don't, I don't know if he's an upcoming free agent, but he's going to get paid eventually. Um, I just don't, I don't know the type of guy that, that Luca needs as far as a second banana, uh, to really help them get over the top, and I do, I do want to see Luca just play. Just uh, uh, he's got to elevate his game defensively just a little bit as well. I think that would be a, a fair criticism. Colin, what do you think? I think I agree with you on Brunson. I think he's a guy that could be be a star on his own team, elevate his game a little bit more, continue improving. I think he could definitely have his own team eventually. But um, 
on the topic of Luca needing more help, I think he needs kind of a guy like Clay Thompson almost, almost a three and D type of guy who doesn't need the ball in his hands, just can kind of um, get the ball when Luca's receiving all the attention, kind of stand by the three point line, make some shots, play good defense. So I think a guy like Clay or some player like Clay would help Luca a lot. Just another a proven scorer that can play some defense. I, I threw out the name Buddy Heald. I feel yeah. like he's a perfect compliment. I, I, again, but we'll, we'll see what shakes out. Cullen, what's, I mean, we know your love for Luca, but what's, what's the next step in his game or, or for that team to reach, I, I guess, a finals, right? Yeah. I mean, like you guys nailed it. I think, I mean, I, I would love clay on them. I mean, you know me, I'll be rooting for the warriors here in the finals, but a guy like clay or buddy Hill would be great. Just I, I mentioned to you last night, like, uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. was hurt. I don't think that would have got him to beat the Warriors, but I think he maybe would have got another game because he's just a streaky three-point shooter, but can knock down some threes. I mean, Reggie Bullock isn't get it done, you know, and uh, Maxi Kleba is not getting it done. Um, yeah, yeah. So they need to shake something up. I, I've, I've warmed up to the Jalen Brunson thing. I, I won't lambast you anymore about that. Um, I mean, he's the only other guy that really did anything, except I think, yeah. you know, Finney Smith had one good game, I think, but – but Finney Smith's not going to cut it either. So we, there needs to be some changes. And I know this, you can't see this like on the podcast, but I got my Lucas socks on right now. <laughs> Those are nice. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I, I do. Yes. All right. Just want to show that off for you real quick. Do you have a Jersey? Uh, I'm not a Jersey guy. Mm. Um, and I actually won these as a bet from uh, our friend, John Feltz. So thanks John, if you're listening. Um, but job. I wear them a lot. I get complimented them all the time. <laughs> Well, I, no I jersey hope, though. I, yeah, that's uh, disappointing. I'm a fake fan. I know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm more of an apparel guy. I'm. I'm kind of on that. Like, I don't really wear jerseys as a. I think over the age of like 25. So you're still good, Cal. But I think over the age of 25, I don't. I don't think you wear jerseys anymore with a, a, another man's name on it. You can wear like a lake or like you know like a Mavs shirt. I like that better. That, that's just me. Is that um, is that an unwritten rule of, of like the age where there's a cutoff where you you got to stop? I think, yeah, that's my rule. I just could want to be caught dead in another man's <laughs> name on my back. So that's just me. That's just me. I I appreciate that kind of stuff because there was like a certain age where like I, I would wear like American Eagle stuff, but then like I got to age like 24 and I'm like, I think I got to stop. Or yeah. like maybe it was 25, 26 because I'm like, it feels like college apparel. So exactly. there's, there's a similar argument with jerseys. My son – you know, Jackson, he's really into jerseys these days. He wants a Justin Fields jersey. Um, I'm treading lightly on that until I know it's worth, it's worth the worth the <laughs> price of admission. But um, so I, I, I agree with you there. Um, the finals, guys. Here's what I like about this finals. Uh, Celtics Warriors. Um, I, don't th- I can't remember the last time we had two homegrown teams like this. Um, where teams really built their their teams through the draft, they added maybe a, a piece or two through free agency, but largely it was uh, a two, three, four drafts. Um, you know, the Warriors have still the same core that they built in 2014, 2015, when they won their first finals in 15, made all the finals. They've added around it. They've rebuilt their team through the draft again, where now, I mean, this second iteration of the Warriors where we're talking about Wiseman and Moody and Kaminga, I mean, we're scratching the surface with those guys. Um, What's your impression of just having those kinds of teams versus a team that's maybe like the 2012 Miami Heat where it's just they all join forces together? Do you care or is it, you know, do you appreciate it more, Colin? I personally love the homegrown talent. I think it's really cool to see all the players kind of develop around each other and grow towards a certain kind of style of play. Um, I think piecing around your core players is a very cool aspect of kind of managing a team and building towards a championship roster. So I really, I really like to see what both of these teams have done with their rosters, building around the core as of Curry, Draymond, Clay, and Tatum and Brown. I think it's been really cool to see them all develop together and kind of grow to this team that they are today. Yeah, Colin, the the Celtics for I mean, they made they made a couple of Eastern Conference finals. They lost to LeBron there, I think, in 2018. They lost to the Heat in 2020 in the bubble. Uh, the Tatum and Brown 
uh, I guess duo was, I mean, really overanalyzed quite a bit, even, even early this season, when they got up to a slow start, there was talks about breaking them up, that this wasn't going to work, but it feels like they've finally broken through and they've, they've been able to figure it out um, this tandem. And hopefully this is something that they can carry on going forward. It seems. Yeah. I, w- I'm, I was skeptical on Brown for a long time. I mean, I like his game. I like like shooter slasher athletic wing type <laughs> of player, you know, Sorry about my dad. That's the kind of guy you like. Yeah, that's the kind of guy I like. And I like Tatum because, I mean, he's a smart guy and Kobe's his favorite player and wearing Kobe, you know, armband. Love that. Love it. He pulls up my heartstrings there. So, but I like his game too. Um, so it's kind of hard for me in this finals because usually there's a team I like love and then hate because usually it's LeBron and, you know, I hate LeBron. So, um, <laughs> but um, I'll, I'll uh, I think I already mentioned Bobby root for the Warriors because I think championship for Steph would just, stick it to KD and, and he tie LeBron. So by de facto, that means he's better than LeBron, right? So. Uh, oh, man. Well, right? Okay. I mean, he's beaten okay. he, he's he's him more times in the finals and he's going to have the same amount of rings. That's what I think. So, anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad you went there. Uh, <laughs> this, this does feel like a bit of a improve your legacy type of game or a series uh, potential championship for Curry. As you mentioned, this will be four titles now. This 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 Warriors team has been to – this will be their sixth finals appearance since 2015. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a true dynasty. I mean, we're talking, what, top 15 player of all time, arguably, Colin? I'd say so, yeah. I'd put him up there, top two point guards, put him up there with Magic. So, if he wins this, you, I'd, you, I'd – You'd have a lot of Isaiah Thomas uh, f- people that would come fight you about that, though. Mm. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't see it. I, I put him up there with Magic, but uh, okay. it's just me. I I agree with you. Now, I mean, we're all young enough where we weren't in the Isaiah days. I I was I'm old enough to remember pieces of it because of um, you know the the late '80s, early '90s. But I think I think as far as truly transforming the game of basketball into something entirely different stuff should be elevated, I think, um, above him. So Colin, I, I just want to be clear here. I, and I, I wasn't sure if this, if that was satire or not. So you're saying, you're saying if Curry gets his fourth title, you're, you're, you're putting him above LeBron. I hope, I hope that's not true. Oh, it's so true. No, I, I can't deal with the straight face. No, he would not be above LeBron, but I do think this would elevate him to top 12 top 12 i don't have a list in front of me but i think i kind of jot it down the other day I, I give him top 12 like you alluded to he changed the game and he's like my size a little bigger but i mean like he's so ridiculous like he just runs around i mean so good with off the ball you can't stop it what can you do to stop it if he's you can't do anything it's amazing people who hate on him i just i don't know how to hate on him i don't get it yeah and so two things number one i i think his game is going to continue age fairly well I mean, um, he's avoided some major injuries, uh, unlike Clay Thompson. I mean, he can still move really well without the ball, and his shooting has not really slowed down. He's had a couple of different, you know, slumps throughout this year. But um, secondly, I think I think this this potential title for the Warriors would be f- fairly. I don't want to say critical, but it would, you had the title pre KD and now you would get their fourth and their second without KD after he he's, he left four years ago. So it would be a bookend of, of titles without, without Durant. I think that's important probably to those guys, Draymond, Clay and Curry, especially. Um, so let's talk about this series a little bit here. Uh, Colin, what do you think uh, are the key matchups that we have the Warriors offensively, uh, I think being superior to the Celtics, but the Celtics have have had the best defense in the playoffs, but they haven't faced an offense like the Warriors yet. I mean, you could argue the Bucs, but the Bucs were not the same team without Middleton. Um, I mean, is this just a, a bit of a matchup of contrasting styles, you think? Yeah, I mean, Celtics are obviously great defensively, Warriors are great offensively. So I think it just comes down to, um, I know it sounds weird, but, inside play so Warriors are going to score obviously Celtics you're going to have Brown Tatum keep up hopefully they they have been pretty much this whole playoff so I think 
I think it's going to come down to the inside play. Warriors, Warriors don't do much inside. They don't really have a big body presence. And I think the war or the Celtics can take advantage of that with uh, Grant Williams and Robert Williams. So hopefully we see a, a little bit more healthy Robert Williams this series, because I think he can play a big, big Celtics team, especially inside and uh, defensively. So I think if the Celtics can win the inside game, um, pretty pretty aggressively i think they can keep it keep it close but if not i think the warriors should be able to should be able to handle them pretty easily ellen what are the keys to you just curry making like eight threes a game <laughs> yeah curry's gonna hit 10 threes a game no i mean surprisingly i actually agree with colin i do think that the inside like looney versus williams and, and everything like that or i think marcus smart is the x factor here if he I mean, well, hear me out. He's a great no. It, it, you're right. It's oh, scary okay. though. It's scary with him. It is. I mean, I think I read a stat. If he scores, and I could be wrong. You guys are stat gurus. Like twenty or over, like they're undefeated in the playoffs or something. I think something like that. But, um, but yeah, he's scary. So I mean, we'll we'll just see what 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 happens here. I don't know. I'm gonna say Warriors in three though. Not <laughs> Warriors in six is my official prediction. Sorry if I jumped the gun on that, but. There you go. No, um, I was I, I wanted to uh, kind of talk about what what Colin mentioned as far as Robert Williams. He is he's not healthy. That's that's a big concern. Uh, he did not look good in Game Seven against the Heat. Now maybe a couple of days off will help him. But um, you know, I almost thought they should have played Tice a little bit more, which is never a great thing. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I do have some concerns there. I do think the the Warriors defensively, their switchability with Wiggins and Thompson uh, and, and Draymond on the wing, defending Tatum and Brown is is pretty key. Um, I, I think they match up fairly well with them. But I, I, I kind of like the Celtics matchups as well. I really do. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned Marcus Smart, though. Um, he is the X Factor Defensive Player of the Year. I, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to be matched up against Curry. And, you know, from, from what I've seen in the past and, and looked at statistically, that Smart's been able to defend him fairly well. Um, however, uh, Stephen A. Smith, however, um, <laughs> Smart is so terrifying because he'll have these moments where he, th- he thinks he's the best player on the team and <laughs> that's not, he's not at all. Um, he's the third best player on the team, I, I, I guess, but he has these moments where, you know, I'm Marcus Smart. I'm going to take 25 shots in the game and I'm going to lead the team in shots. And I'm going to, I just, I don't want him to have those moments because I don't think they'll win the series if that's the case. Um, what about, Guys like Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, they seem to be maybe the, the double X factors for the Warriors. Poole has that ability to put up 30. Wiggins has really transformed himself into something that I think people thought he could be, uh, you know, being the number one pick a few years ago. But he seems like he's really fit into the, I guess, the Warrior way. Colin? Yeah, I mean – I've really enjoyed what I've seen from Wiggins. He's he's looked like the guy we've we thought we were going to see out of out of college. So it's been nice to see him kind of fit that play style finally after all these years of what we thought he could be. It's looking like he's kind of getting to that point. So I think if he plays as well as he's been playing, he's going to be a tough guard for for the Celtics. So um, and with Poole, I don't think we've seen as much as what we saw from him during the regular season. So I'm not sure if he's, I don't know if he's in less minutes or not. I guess I haven't been paying as much attention to that, but I know he's just no. been not, he's just not. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but I think and from if, what I've seen de- defensive liability I, I, in the Mav series, they would, they were uh, Luca was hunting him on switches and uh, Colin's really happy. Colin's really happy about that. <laughs> um, um, he, he made an impact in the, in the, the Grizzly series quite a bit. And, and then their, um, their first round series as well. But yeah, he was quiet last series. I think it's just a f- defensive lapses that they're, they're not putting them out there as many minutes for. Um, all right. So uh, Colin likes the Warriors in six. Colin, who's the pick here? I hate to be that guy, but I'm also going Warriors in six. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. I I made I made my official bet today. I, I bet the Warrior or the Celtics in six. Wow. 
Wow. Mm. I bet the Celtics in six. Um, my reasons were, I think, I think Tatum is, is that guy. I think he, uh, he just ha- seems to have a chip on his shoulder. Um, i like the smart versus Curry matchup enough. And I don't, I don't really trust Clay Thompson still. I, he's had his moments, but he's had his moments where he's looked really bad too. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just like the defensive ability of the Celtics and I don't know. I don't even necessarily like them to win to, uh, the, the game one, I think their, their legs will be a little tired, but I like them to win the series. I think most likely Tatum wins the MVP, but um, that's where I'm headed. Wow. Well, I read, I thought I heard something like ESPN power index or whatever basketball index said like 86% chance the Celtics win. I was like, what's that about? That's uh, <laughs> it seems high. It seems high. Yes. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but, so, well, so good luck, but I hope you lose. Oh, Sorry. that's fine. Um, <laughs> so it, you guys both like the Warriors to win the series. So I'm assuming you think Curry wins MVP finals MVP. Yes. Okay. I don't know if he just disconnected or what, but I don't know who else would win. I don't think, I don't see anyone else winning if they win. So. Yeah. I, I mean, I think you're most likely right. I mean, I, I try to envision scenarios where like, well, Draymond could average a triple double or Wiggins could go off, but it's just, it's just the likelihood it will be Curry if the Warriors win and Tatum if the Celtics win. Um, all right. We'll see what happens. Um, I, I, I can't wait to watch it. And then uh, we got the draft coming up and uh, later on this month. So uh, it's going to be a pretty fun, and interesting time for the NBA. So Glad to have you guys on and uh, talk about it all. And I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll meet once again uh, coming up. Hey, thanks for having us, Phil. Um, it's always a pleasure to talk trash with you guys. And just on a personal note, enjoy your golf trip with your, your kids coming up. Oh, thank you. Yes. I, yes. I'll be at the Memorial this weekend and we'll be rooting on. Uh, I don't know really who I bet on Colin Morikawa. So probably Colin, um, but Colin name. And uh, before we go, Cullen, uh, I swimming interviews got some stuff coming up. Plug it, please. All right, hey, always thanks for uh, allowing that to happen. Uh, we play at the Zufari on June sixteenth. Uh, it's like a benefit. All you can eat, all you can drink. I'd be twenty one and over. So sorry, Colin, you're almost there, but not quite. Mm, close. Um, close, close, close. And then um, the next night we're playing Middle Ways Festival, which is a we're on the free stage, kid friendly. Uh, and our lyrics are kid friendly as well, uh, I think. So um, come on out. That's a great, great event. And uh, yeah, the more the merrier. It should be a fun time. So thanks for that. Appreciate it. Yeah, go support these guys. Uh, great bunch of guys. You you just won't find a better group. You really won't. <laughs> yeah, you might, but thanks. You could maybe, and 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 maybe a, a different city, but in, in this city, you won't find a better bunch of guys. So, go support them. Swimming interview. Uh, yeah, Zufari. That's an awesome thing. So, congratulations to you guys. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for previewing the finals and talking NBA. We'll talk. We'll talk to you later. Go Warriors. Warriors. All right. Thanks for listening to Your Best Bet, and we will talk to you next week.